something and that when he was praying over me and all of a sudden I felt a shift in my back. It was That's the power of baptism. <laughs> I am so excited about what God is doing and you can do the same. It is actually very, very, very simple. The last weeks we have been in different homes and we are going to another home this weekend and going to another home in a few weeks. And it is beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. And the way we do it is different. I've already talked about that in some other videos I've been doing. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it here. But in the text with this video, there is a link where you can go in and see more if you want to do that. But I just want to talk about this home I was in a few days ago. What happened is that a few days ago, we went to another home and it was powerful again. It is so easy. It is so simple. And why don't we do that more? And I encourage everyone out there to really be part of this shift that is coming and go out and do this. What happened is that we had a meeting a few uh, months ago. And uh, there came a couple to the meeting and they brought a friend and that friend got healed. She met God and I talked with that couple and said, hey, let's go to your home. Go to your home. Invite people over. I will come and we will share the gospel and we will do the same in your home. And this is the first step. You need to be bold. I did not wait for them to invite me. I invited myself and said, I will come to your home. Let's do it. And you invite friends and people you know, and from church and outside church and all over. And then let's do a meeting in the evening and then do some training with you. And this Saturday, we went to that home and it was powerful. We started up with bar a barbecue or food and eat and have some fellowship. And then we gathered everyone in the garden. And I s no one knew me. And this is what was beautiful here. They did not know me. They have not seen our movies. They had not seen me on YouTube. They knew nothing about me, nothing. They did not know what they were going into. Why? Because the guy, he just said, hey, come over. They, we are going to have a meeting. There's a guy coming. And, and they knew nothing. And I loved that. So I was around greeting people and talking to people. And it was so weird in many ways that they have no idea who I was. So we started up and what we started with, I started with a testimony from the woman who got healed a few months ago. And you can see that here. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I didn't know anything about him either. And um, all I knew was Jeremy said we had to go see this guy. And I was like, OK, sounds really good. I'll come. <laughs> and at the time, I was having like extreme back pain in my back. Mm -hmm. And we had like a worship time before like the talk and all that and um i was in so much pain i couldn't even like stand there during worship so i like started sitting down and then i couldn't even sit down because i was in so much pain and then at the end they were asking if um anybody wanted to come up for a prayer or healing or whatever and jeremy's like well go up and get your healing and i'm like okay <laughs> like, that easy or what like <laughs> So, um, so I went up and was waiting and then he came over and was praying over me and, um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, I was re I had to rewatch the video a lot <laughs> to remember what happened because as it was happening, I don't, I, I think I was just all in my head and what I was thinking at the time. So it was just kind of hard to know what was happening, but, um, but he was praying over like lies, like, yeah. like saying lies go, lies go or something. And mm -hmm. I, I don't remember what else, but, um, he said something and then when he was praying over me and all of a sudden I felt a shift in my back, it was really weird. And the pain was gone and Yay. it wow. didn't come back. <laughs> it was, it was just amazing. Cause it was like, I was in so much pain. Yeah, she was. <laughs> and, um, and then just immediately gone. And so that was the beginning to just, whoa, God is actually moving here because they know her. And they know that she had been sick and now she's healed. So that actually laid the foundation. And then I shared how Jesus changed my life. We also have some other testimonies. And I shared how Jesus changed my life. And then I went into the gospel. 
and it was really powerful. And I often use the gospel cards here. It's just pictures, pictures to illustrate the gospel. You can get it on the tlrmap.com. No, get it on the lastreformation.com on our website. I put a link in with this video. And there is a scan code where there is a video where you can see how I use the cards. But I use those cards to just illustrate the gospel. And what is beautiful, when I have then shared the gospel, I end up with this. Where are you in your life? Maybe you are here still in your sin, deaf in your sins and have a stone heart and you are still a sinner and you need to repent. Or maybe you are here, you have repented and got a new heart, but you are not free from sin because after you came to faith and repent, you are not really been baptized with the right understanding and put off that old life. Or maybe you are here, here, you have repented and you have been baptized and you have overcome sin. You feel a freedom, but you don't have any power to live that new life. You have not been filled with the Holy Spirit. This is where God wants us to be. Not there, not there, not there, but here. And then I ask everyone, where are you? And there are several people like, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> What is your next step? I need to be baptized. Or I'm there. What is your next step? I need the Holy Spirit. And then we start to pray for people. And it was powerful. And first I took some people up and demonstrate how to pray for people. And then we got everyone involved to pray for each other. And you can see a little clip of it here. There was mm -hmm. the Spirit. How is it? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I want to talk with you about it so you can get used to with tongues. Okay. Yeah, get it. You will never forget this moment. Never. It's so beautiful. And this is what God wants to do. And I want to say the whole training, the whole thing we do often here is I have a set of cards you can get all. And what we often do with groups, then we come back again and we train and then we say what we did do with you now you go and do with other who do you know who are not fully repented who do you know who are not been baptized <coughs> who do you know who have not received the holy spirit go and do it with them mm -hmm. and then meet next week and let me hear some stories mm -hmm. and this is how we train with that group we what we do with you you go and do with other mm -hmm. you do you speak tongues no you know about it Okay, have you won it, Longy? I can't hear it. Take him, take him. Leave go, go, go. Leave him by, right now. Come on, we attack, go. Everything go, leave her, out, out right now. Come out, come out. Come out right now in the name of Jesus, I command it, leave her. Right now, let go, let go, all fear. Let go, let go, have you heard right now? Now, yes, 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 yes. no, complete Jesus. healing, yeah. complete yeah. healing yeah. to these bones, yeah. complete yeah. healing to these yeah. muscles yeah. right now, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I ask you, Jesus, set me free. Come with your Holy Spirit. Yeah, go for it. Right now. Right now. I am better? I think so. <laughs> And then afterward, we went down to baptize four people in water. And uh, I think one of them, or maybe two, I remember, already had received the Holy Spirit and two others had not. But they confessed their sins and, and, and we talked about baptism. And then they got baptized into Christ and experienced freedom. And everyone experienced a beautiful freedom. There was deliverance that was taking place. And those who had not received the Holy Spirit received the Holy Spirit right there and started speaking tongues. And you can see it in some of the clips here. So on your own faith, we baptize you into Jesus Christ. Okay, so we baptize you into Christ. So kneel down, go forward. Die with Christ, rise up with Christ. Oh, shit, my father. Freedom, 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 let go, let go, let go right now. Every hurt go, leave her, leave her, leave her. Every lie go right now in the name of Jesus. Speak freedom, freedom right now, let go, let go. Every hurt, every lie, every lie, every hurt. We take your family, we give all to God. Freedom, freedom has become. Bado, do, do, go, ski, sala, da, 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 fill up, fill up, bodo. And I want to say, look at this, when we pray, for, when we baptize people, and don't be, too, let's not be too fast to just clap our hands, because the sad thing often church, we're like, yeah, yeah, no, pray for people, take time for people, 
really don't rush it. Really take time, love people, and talk with it, and do it. To Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go down. Die with Christ, rise up with Christ. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh, How was that? Come out of here. Uh, come out of here. Nothing. Come out of here. Jesus' name. Come out of here. 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 Come Come on, come on right now. Go right now. Come on, come on. 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 That's the power of baptism. <laughs> yeah! I knew it. Breathe out! Right. It's like he's not going to get free until he... Oh, I'm oh. forgetting. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Oh. Kenny, come here. Come up. Keep Kenny on your hook here. Come on. Come on, love it. <laughs> this is what we see in the Bible. Come on. And you see the demon manifest and then the freedom and that is the power. So we thank you for our friend and the beginning. Yes. Do we have any people who can sing here? Do you have singers? Yep. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we sing Amazing Grace? Oh, amazing Grace? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I don't either. Is there more people? <laughs> Joshua, the guy we just baptized, can sing. Thank you. Come on, higher one more time. It was just beautiful. It was powerful. And uh, three of the ones who got baptized, I just took beside in the end. And then I took a short testimony with them. And I just want to put that in where you can hear from the own mouth w about that evening. And you can do that here. And plus, I have a clip here with Jeremy, the guy who actually um, opened up his home so we can go and do it. Beautiful meeting tonight here in a house and now we're standing in the kitchen and the first for you. I took you up and prayed for you and you got baptized also and swung tongues? Yes. Yeah, yeah. First, yeah. How, how was tonight? It was amazing. I was I was I'm really excited and I'm so happy and what God's gonna do for me and I just feel a big release and yeah. freedom and 
in Jesus. And now you need to speak in tongues a lot. And yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go do for it. I'm it, it, it is beautiful. And how a few clips people can see for tonight? How was it for you tonight? You always got baptized. I got, got baptized, and for me, it was letting go of a sin um, that was keeping hindering me from all that God has for me. And I feel free and light and excited. For it is beautiful baptism. You just felt free. Yes, yes, I did. God, God was there. He met me. So I'm so thankful to have experienced this. And what do you think of the teaching? I was, it, I learned so many different things and on um, a whole different perspective. And I am super excited because I think it's meant for everybody in it the is. whole church. To hear and this. tonight was just first night. We were just laying a foundation and it is for all of you guys. It's for all of us. We are all called to serve. We are, we are yes. all called to yes. do ministry. We are all disciples. We can all bear fruit. Yes. And, and this is uh, the thing we, we saw something. Yes. Tonight. And they're empowering us to be empowered to uh, go, and do, go and do the same things. Not yeah. just for yeah. one, it's for us all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> This is Joshua here. Joshua, we pray for you first tonight and, and you experience a, a fight. Oh, yeah. A lot definitely. of fight. And, and then you got baptized and finally the release came. Mm -hmm. And Holy Spirit, beautiful way. How was this tonight? Transformative, powerful. Very, very powerful. Huh. I, I've, been, uh, I've been struggling with a lot internally and there's so much that I, like, I, I just fear of like letting go. But like, just being prayed over and just being reminded of how much God loves me just really moved me and really like broke me and I just feel free and yeah. open. And the Bab says you there was still a struggle there and suddenly there was a release. Mm -hmm. And I saw it in your face and the way like you're free now. And you are filled with Holy Spirit, and the thing you're strong with now is gone in that water. It's a new beginning. Mm -hmm. You love it? Yes. Come on. This is beautiful. I love it also! <laughs> <laughs> this is the so we, 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 we met at a meeting we had. We, we had some meetings when we came to California first, and you actually came there, and uh, you brought a friend who got set free yes and uh, and uh, you brought her another time and she, she's really experienced healing her body and freedom and then i was a little bold and said come on let's get a people in your home let's go to your house and do it mm -hmm. and we did it tonight and how was it for you so good exactly what i expected yeah. exactly what i expected people got set free healed so good and this yeah. is just the beginning and this is what you can all do out there. Find somebody when you meet people and see people meet God. Then be bold. Say what I what we did with you. Let's go go to your home. Invite people over and then do it there. And that's what we did tonight. Yes. So good. So good. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Everyone, I want to say here in the end. Why do I do this video? I do this video because I encourage you out there to do what I just did. The last homes I've been in, and this home I'm in this weekend, and next weekend another home, and so on, it happened because I did it. I was bold. Most of the times I met somebody who met Jesus, prayed for somebody who got healed, or somebody who had been set free, and then I said, let's go to your home. Invite friends over, let me come to your home. Don't wait for them to invite you and set it up. Invite yourself. Be bold, and then just do it. And they have been powerful. We have seen so many life changes. And this home I was in this weekend, like this Saturday, is only 15 minutes from us. And we will now follow up on them. And, and I heard from Jeremy today that it's spreading like, now, now like wildfire. Other people are here and how they got sealed and set free and what is happening. And more people want to come next time. And we are going back again and we are going back again and we are going back again. And then we see how, what it become. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But take one step at the time. At the time. And, and this is something we all do. And I already done some videos about this shift that have come and how we are changing things. I did uh, four videos already it's in a playlist and I will link it in the text with this video. And why do I do those videos again? Because I want to encourage you out there. Think out of the box. Be bold. Do what I'm done. Do it. Do it. Invite yourself to home. Scatter people and keep it simple. Powerful, the gospel, healing, deliverance, set people free, get them filled with the Holy Spirit, and then 
train them next time how to share the gospel and let them go out and do the same in other homes. And then you see a growth and a multiplication. We have seen so much fruits the last few weeks. I am blown away for what God is doing. And, and it's something I haven't seen like this before. Why? Because of the little shift. I just changed a little of the way we did it and the boldness and the fruit is so powerful. I love it. But you can do the same. God bless you. See the other videos in the link here. And uh, what a beautiful day. What beautiful life. What God is doing. And here a beautiful sunset. God bless you all out there.